Hey everyone, I'm Grand Hall, and welcome back to Let's Play Gargoyle's Quest. Now, something you may have noticed last video... There was no password spot between Rushafell and Brieger. Which means, this entire last part of the game, you have to do in one fell swoop. So, hope you guys like super speed to music. We are Sex bob and we're here to make you think about death and get sad and stuff! Yeah, you can just tank through those last two. And dang, Rushfell went down faster than he did last time. Dang! Alright, so now I know, whatever I do, when I talk to this guy, I say no. Uh, I, I don't want to be your follower. I saw where that turns out. Take all my powers and... Then you try to kill me anyway. Yep, once again I hinder you. No, no, I don't think you will. Alright, so now we're fighting him with, you know, the setup we need. We just need him to drop that one arm. And also, he's a fan of the homing projectiles as well. I mean, I, I can understand the appeal, but really, I am not a fan of them, especially with what I have to do to get away from them. Oh, what? So he had his hand down such that I could attack his head for just, like, two frames. Eh, there we go. Come on. No, that's not what you're supposed to do here. You're supposed to lower your hand. Let me... He just swatted that blast out of the air. Jerk. Fortunately, these ones are way simpler to get rid of. How? Ow. However, I do have to worry about, you know, landing on them, their spikes. When I accidentally grab onto the ledge when I'm trying to just drop by. Whew, that one was close. What? I was not aiming for his hand there. I should probably use a, uh, an Essence of the Soul Stream. Like that. Yeah. 
so how high do I have to aim to get it around his hand? Is that... that seemed... as though his hand is a little bit, uh, higher up than it really should be, based on the sprite. But, oh well. So I guess I should aim, like, above his head slightly. But, uh... Yeah. This is another battle that is just a pattern. And that, I did not fall quite far enough. Which means I need to switch sides and CLIMB! I would have been fine taking that hit if he had taken a hit as well. As it was... No. Dang it, I'm about to die. Because he's got bouncing projectiles. Again, didn't fall quite far enough, so I have to jump. Oh, I did fall far enough this time. Come on, guy! Yeah, get away from me. So. I should probably memorize what this guy's pattern is, if I can at all. Yeah, I was figuring he was about to shoot, or er, about to lower his hand. But I seem to hit him more on this side. I wonder why that is. If there's even a legitimate reason for it, and not just, eh, this, is, this is a good side to be on, you know? As far as sides go, seems like a good one. Ugh. So, I think he's about to drop his hand. He dropped his hand, but... Why can't I just swing over him and, you know, drop things on his head? That should work, right? It, it would make sense to me. Come on. Yeah, I dropped his hand. Hmm. You know, Dark Fire probably is the best attack against him. Drop your hand. That was not dropping your hand. That was making another homing missile. Do to do to do. Hey, I managed to hit him twice. I didn't drop quite fast enough. Ugh! After all my problems of aiming too low, I finally aim too high. You know, Brieger, this is the reason nobody likes you. That and you're trying to take over the ghoul realm. But apart from your trying to take over the ghoul realm, this is the reason nobody likes you. Great. Alright. Well, I can try this again. I have plenty of lives. Cue death montage. Well, that one I just jumped into. Drat. 
The really annoying thing about Brieger is everything I could say about how you fight this guy, I already said when talking about Rushafell. Well, apart from how it's mildly annoying that the best attack against him only fires once. Like, you can only have one on screen at a time. Sprite limit one. Come on, drop your hand. Drop your hand. That does not count as dropping your hand. If your hand is, like, only down for half a second, you did not drop your hand. And this guy, I honestly can't pick out a pattern against him. Granted, that's what I said at the beginning of the fight against Rushafell, but with him, it really does seem more random. Ugh. Or maybe it's just a longer pattern. That's, you know, also possible. Whoops. Oh well. One damage when I would have gotten two from the blast. Yeah. Not a bad trade-off. All things considered... Whoa! Hey! He's done! I win! And his lower face and body are part of the background, apparently. WHAT?! Yeah, you've been defeated. Twice? But this is the FIRST Gargoyles Quest game! He'll be back, and then he'll... GAGUA! So yeah, I win. And I didn't even need those four talismans of the Cyclone over there. Darn straight, Red Blaze forever. Well, you know, Firebrand forever. I, I prefer my name rather than my title. And... But why didn't... Well, I figured you'd be able to tell just by looking at me. I mean, come on. I'm pretty awesome. Uh, so he's hoping that... Oh, Earth is mine! If I can conquer the Earth, I can be king there. So I guess this is a prequel to the uh, the Ghouls and Ghosts series. I say series. This is a prequel to Ghouls and Ghosts. There's only one game in that series. It's just been repeated over and over and over again. With, you know, updates, but the story is always exactly the same. Like, even more so than in Mario games. The ghoul, ghoul realm... <laughs> the ghoul realm became safe? Again! Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Firebrand deserves that kind of thing. Because he's awesome. And, uh... Yeah. The end. You know, didn't even have a credit scroll. Nobody worked on this game. It just came into existence. So there's the devilfish. Okay. Well, so is that the name of a person who worked on this, or is that the name of the boss? I'm thinking these are... Yeah, these are names of bosses. Okay, so the bosses have names. But still, nobody worked on this game. It just... appeared. Like they found it one day in the... Zakadruzer! <laughs> eh, Rushafell and his disco dancing ways.
So, yeah, I, I'm still convinced that this game just, just materialized. It just came into existence. I guess Brieger never realized that if he just held two of his arms up at all times, he would have won. There would have been nothing I could do. Whoa. Firebrand just made the world negative. Dang. So I guess that uh, scroll of bosses is basically reverse order... Er, reverse order? What? No. Well, it was basically the order of uh, bad attitude. Like, the, the devilfish? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Then the uh, bat-winged mosquito splitting thing. That was way better than the devilfish. And then the motorcycle bodied fire breathing horrible thing. That was way cooler than the mosquito guy. And then Rushafell. I mean, Rushafell had a throne. Come on! And then Brieger. I mean, dude's got four arms. And they're all impervious to damage, and they shoot out blasts at me. But, Firebrand, number one on that list, because he took all of them down. All of them. Could do it again. Has done it before. And, like I said, like I already said, this game was presented by Capcom. But nobody made it. It, it exists on its own. Once humanity is gone, Gargoyle's quest will still continue to exist. I'm Granhol, see you guys next time.